Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fail Race episode with Carfan 93 on GTA 5 trying to get away from the police. Now, if you want to use a vehicle as a getaway car, the Armored Karuma is a very good choice and this particular one has a rather special ability and that is the police car cannon. You see, barely affected by the collision, much more affected by the collision with the solid post than with the uh, police car. That is one hell of a useful ability. Stinty Boy 500 is also having some police troubles. However, this time, it is not his armoured car that has the special ability. No, the army were keen to incorporate the car cannon, and the Crusaders would use it to very, very good effect, almost getting the no, stockade. Brickade's the other big one that came in the DLC. Stockade, I think, is the name of the little armoured car. Almost got it stuck underneath the side. That's some, that's some serious efficiency from the army right there. Cable plant on GTA 5 is, uh, yeah, also got police trouble. There's a lot of police trouble going on today. <laughs> His attempt to get away in a rather smoky truck uh, goes a little bit uh, spectacular. That's two and a third front flip down the road in a semi-truck. Manages to just about stick the landing. Shame about the twist at the end. Yeah, that's a, a hell of a stunt. Warrior Oni on GTA 5 is not having police trouble. No, instead he is having entirety of physics trouble. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking the cars are not supposed to be starting down here. Apparently this is a, uh, a Rockstar created race as well. It's not just some weird uh, custom content creator one. No, that's just everything tumbling their way through space and time and not, not quite gone to plan. The Felter does actually find itself randomly plopped down in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But... Uh, yeah, there we go. Sticking with the GTA 5, there's a lot of GTA 5 today. I'm sorry, just how those submissions have gone. Uh, with a Hummer, now pay close attention. This is the downside of running in third person, is that cars can kind of find a blind spot, especially in front of such a big vehicle when you're going down a hill. Yeah, that was a Sabre Turbo that he drove over. If you weren't quite focused on exactly the right point, you don't see it at all. The first time I watched that clip, I couldn't figure out why the car suddenly got airborne. But uh, yeah, sneaky, sneaky Sabre Turbo. Invisible AK-47 is up next with a stunt race on GTA 5 in supercars. Everyone travelling at very high speed down the storm drain. And thanks to a little bit of slipstream assist as this orange car gets a bit too much airborne, lands on the roof. There's a tiniest of bounces that upsets all the physics and spits two vehicles out. The light blue car would make the best of uh, that particular moment. This next clip, this uh, from me. When we were testing the Rocket Voltic race that went out on Friday, <laughs> we were waiting to go and someone might have accidentally pushed the Rocket Boost button. Yeah, that's what happens when you crash a uh, <laughs> Rocket car into the back of a stationary one. Apparently an impressive, impressive flip indeed. E55 on Need for Speed at 2015 is minding his own business when the game decides to throw a wheeling truck at him. Not, not the greatest thing to go around a corner and suddenly, especially when you're travelling at rather high speeds, to find suddenly in the middle of the road directly in front of you. Not the only one having issues on uh, Need for Speed. This, the very, very start of the race, a, I guess an AI, either a traffic car or one of the racing cars, takes out the player vehicle, which then is having issues trying to get itself back, pointing in the right. You'd never want to start a race pointing at a wall. It's just not, not a helpful thing. Kyle McDougall on Forza Motorsport 6, racing with some of the fastest cars, some of the fastest prototypes in the game. When up ahead, shenanigans go wrong, and AI gets put into a wall, and gets spun around, and the Mazda 787B goes for a bit of a flight. Uh, it's, yeah, impressive ramp, although not quite as impressive a flight as we have from... <laughs> It's a Red Bull prototype crazy machine. Yeah, wheel out on the grass. A little too much speed. These things are stupidly fast, but too much speed. Out wide, ends up going backwards. The wings and downforce then act as lift, and it's bye-bye to prototype car. That's on its way to the moon as we speak. I don't think it'll ever come back down from, <laughs> from up there, because that is a massive flight. That mud kit on grid two turns in a little bit too much to a corner, clips the rock face, and his Mercedes that wasn't in great condition to start with is now going for a tumble down the road. And in true fail race fashion, it just doesn't really know when to stop rolling. We're still going, we're still going, and stuck the landing. Well done. That is a seriously impressive... It wasn't even a particularly high speed number of rolls either, but the way that the, the road was kind of going downhill and so on, it meant the Mercedes just kept tumbling onto the original Forza Horizon. Now trying to get through a speed camera at high speed. The shortcut, probably not a good idea on that one. 250 kilometers an hour upside down through a speed camera, though. That is always, always fail rate approved. 
make for a very, very interesting speeding photo. Neva Racer on Watch Dogs 2 is driving sensibly. I know a rarity. Everyone will have tried this at some point, though, in an open world driving game. He's minding his own business, doing what he should be, stopping at uh, the stop sign when the biker behind has had enough. <laughs> I just love the stupidity of that clip. I love the distance the rider got as well. There was some serious, serious firing. And finally, Dirt Showdown with uh, a little bit too eager on the inside of the corner there, launching this car into the wall. However, trying to recover, manages to knock some tyres in front of it and climb over it and then get itself beached. Eventually, with some wiggling and some bouncing around, the car will just about manage to get itself free. But uh, there is very little to hit on these arenas, but found the one tyre that he could manage to uh, get himself stuck on. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, then you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. At the very top of the page is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. <laughs>